Aloha all, Jackie here. Thanks for joining me today in creating a card using Stampin' Up's Delicate Dahlias. Uh, it's a celebration uh, photopolymer stamp set from uh, the celebration catalog, August 3 to September 30th. It's towards the back of the catalog. Here it is, free with a qualifying order. Using thick, basic white cardstock. Uh, this here is cut at four and a quarter by 11 scored at four and a half and five and a half. This little piece for the sentiment is three eighths by two inches. This here is three by two and seven eighths. This here is a half inch by two and an eighth for layering. This here, seven eighths by four and one eighth. This piece here is four and one eighth by four and three eighths. And this here I ran through the Stampin' Cut Embossing Folder Painted Texture. It's a 3D embossing folder. And then I have a piece of designer series paper. Um, this one here is from, or this one here is cut at two by four and three eighths and is from the Subtles pack, six by six pack, and that is the Highland Heather. Okay, and that is actually gonna layer right on top like this. That's why it's four and three eighths. But let's get to our stamping. I am gonna bring in my stamp and cut emboss mat using this piece here. I'll do Gorgeous Grape first since it was on top. Inking up, stamping in the center of the piece. Hmm. Don't know what my neighbors are doing out there, maybe blowing their yard. Not sure if you can hear them. Sorry about that. And then here's this piece here, or this stamp. Love it. How do you like that? Mm, I should have stamped the greeting when I had the gorgeous grape open on this tiny piece. States, so you inspire me. Awesome. Done with our stamping. Close that up. In fact, we can put our card together, guys. Let's go ahead and layer this on here. I'm using wet glue today. This will go on here. I'm centering it top to bottom, top and bottom. And I'm using my fingers here on the side just so that it goes up to the edge. This will get some Stampin' Dimensionals. I like to put it in the four corners and one in the middle. Oh, that one had stuck so good but it's sticking off. I have to peel that off. It's always something, huh? I'm trying to peel, oh gosh, I'm breaking the cardstock. I'm sure it'll be fine. Did you see that, how sticky this is? Rips off the cardstock, sticks to my fingers. Uh, let's go ahead and burnish. And then this one here, it's going this way. So I think they call this like a book binding card. This here is just going straight down here on this side centering I 
then I don't know if you could see here on the side I had whisper white uh, crinkled seam binding ribbon yes guys I am gonna attempt to tie a bow on here let's see how we do Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, I think. Okay, cut some of this off. And then I'll go ahead and glue this down. So this is the book binding part. Just holding it for a little bit. Go. Oh. See? And then this part straight down also. Centering. And this will just go right on top, center on top. Oh gosh, look at that, what I did to that edge. I think it's this way. Yeah. And this, just right on the top, here. You inspire me. And then some rhinestones, you know, right, right. And I was thinking with the rhinestones to just put maybe like three right in the center of the flower itself. Just like that. What do you think? Is that cute or what? Quick and easy card, don't you think? Book binding card? Uh, something like that. Thanks again for joining me today. To order Stampin' Up! products, please visit my online store. The web it at oh, la, excuse me the website is linked in the description of this video. Don't forget to like this video by giving a thumbs up and subscribing. Come back again soon. Bye.